After more than 50 days, Joe made it to the days. How'd he do? Didn't last very long. Take a look. Good evening, my fellow Americans. Thank you for taking the time to listen. I look forward to seeing you. Okay, how did he really do? Seems like he needs you. I need you, the American people. I need you. I need every American to do their part. And that's not hyperbole. I need you. Okay, okay, just don't stiff my hair. But damn, it got really dark. We were emerging from a dark winter into a hopeful spring and summer, finding light in the darkness. For long, dark years, one whole year. Toughest and darkest periods in this nation's history. Darkest we've ever known. Let me guess, his speechwriter Googled phrases with the word dark in it. But maybe the darkness will lift if we do our part, if we do this together. If we do our part, if we do this together, by July the 4th, there's a good chance you, your families and friends, will be able to get together in your backyard or in your neighborhood and have a cookout or a barbecue and celebrate Independence Day. That doesn't mean large events with lots of people together, but it does mean small groups will be able to get together. On July 4th with your loved ones is the goal. But a goal, a lot can happen. Conditions can change. I hate to tell the old fart, but it's got no say in who's coming to my picnic or yours. It's called Independence Day for a reason, Gramps. We threw tea into a harbor for fewer reasons than this. Anyway, the whole thing lasted under 25 minutes, but took 50 days to prep. All the planning and all the time for just a few minutes. It's like a space launch. No wonder his staff acted like this when it was over. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. <laughs> Oh, in sum, the speech was short but dark, like me after spring break. But the media was so relieved Joe made it through, they ate it right up. Hey, Rach, was it very moving? I think it was very moving. Um, uh, the president is very good at articulating empathy. President Biden spent most of his first address to the nation not taking a victory lap, but rallying us for the rest of the race to come. He is the guy we need right now. He didn't say, you need me. Right. He said, I need you. You could tell their collective response was also a sigh of relief. I'm not saying Biden's getting a free ride from the media, but I hear his next presser, all the questions will be multiple choice. Mm -hmm. But this all offers a contrast. Remember this animal? I just told him I've got to come over and see the fake news. Let's go. What do you have, John? DOJ. Let me just say, be quiet. Quiet. Did you ask your DOJ quiet. Question? Quiet. Did you quiet. Ask You're with CNN and you're fake news. The fake news, which is you and you, you don't want to do anything about it. You think I should do that? You, 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 no, no. Do you think I should do that, John? I mean, it's not for me. I mean, I watch that. your one sided reporting. Do you think I should do that? <laughs> I missed that. But now we have this. Let's hope they get him back to the rest of the field trip before the bus leaves. <laughs> but at least he remembers the names of really important people. And I want to thank the, the, the uh, former general, I keep calling him general, but my my, uh, the guy who runs that outfit over there. Uh, I want to make sure we thank the secretary for all he's done. Well, imagine him ordering at Denny's. It's the, it's the round, the round things, and you pour the, the stuff on it, the sticky stuff. But listen, I'm not great with names either, but how many of these, these things does he do a month? And if that's when he's at his best, what's he like afterward? A working media might tell us that. They aren't. Working, that is. Like I said, a contrast in styles, but not presidents, but coverage of presidents. It's kind of obvious, right, Joe? Well, good morning, America. You caught me on my morning workout. I'd like to start the day with a thousand push-ups. Here we go. All right. Feel the burn. Hey, let's do some one-hander, shall we? There we go. Oh, yeah. Do not try this at home. 
I'm a professional and my wife's a doctor. Come on, man. All right. <laughs> and what about the White House dog? No, 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 no. The other White House dog involved in an incident that resulted in a minor injury. They sent it back to Delaware, which is Biden for gone to live on a farm upstate. The previous incident occurred in the shower with Joe, which makes me wonder who brings a dog into the shower. That's the question I want answered. And if it were Trump before the election, the press would have that answer. Like they had all those answers and knew about all those meltdowns and tantrums. Now it's all quiet on the Geritol front. What's the media doing? Not much. And they aren't wearing much either. Here's Brian Stelter pulling a porky pig, taping his show minus his pants, because putting on pants would take an extra four seconds. Now, you'd think CNN would have learned something after Jeffrey Tubin, but I guess we should be grateful it wasn't an open shorty robe. But the media is used to looking stupid. Look at their coverage. An immigration crisis under Trump is now a daunting challenge for Joe. Not a crisis, a challenge. It's Survivor for kids. We've asked Jen about it. We've asked Jen a lot of things, and she never really answers. There are reports out there that the number of unaccompanied migrants detained at the border has tripled in the last two weeks to 3,200 plus. Is that number accurate? I'm not going to confirm numbers from here. Why won't you confirm that number? That's a very important number. We've been very clear uh, that there is an increase, that there are more children coming across the border than we have facilities for at this point in time. Uh, those numbers are tracked by the Department of Homeland Security, so I'm certainly, I'm just suggesting that you talk to them about specifics. Uh, maybe she deserves a break. A spring break. Whoa, Jen, what a place. Are you ready to go? Spring break, here we come. Uh, it is a uh, spring break. Um, that's actually why I invited you and this um, unidentified person over. I thought we could, uh, you know, uh, spend it here. And do what? I thought maybe first we could um, color code and uh, alphabetize my uh, wardrobe. Yeah, that's not exactly what I had in mind. Um, but hey, do you care if we at least do some shots? I thought you might uh, mention that, so uh, that's why I got this um, giant bottle of uh, vegetable juice. Panama City Beach or vegetable juice, that's a tough choice. Please don't uh, invite anyone else over. Um, I'd like to keep this a um, small, gathering. Oh, don't worry about that. I wouldn't do that to my friends. Oh, yes. I, uh, I have read a lot about the um, friends. Um, Joey likes uh, meatball subs and uh, Ross loves uh, dinosaurs. This is going to be the worst spring break. Of course, Joe couldn't do his first address without taking a swipe at Trump, claiming again he didn't do enough on the vaccine front. But we get it. The Dems can't let go. Thank God there's a network to deal with this obsession. You're watching ATN, all Trump news, because everything else is boring by comparison. I'm Anderson Lemon with the headlines. Folks in Vermont got a jolt this week when a meteor exploded as it entered the Earth's atmosphere on Sunday. The meteor was the size of a bowling ball, but exploded with the force of over 400 pounds of TNT. Sources say it sounded eerily like Donald Trump's infamous tantrums and meltdowns when he didn't get his way. Anonymous witnesses say he's a big baby who never learned decent manners or how to compassionately listen to other people. He's just a cruel, heartless person out for himself. Reminds me of my ex who still has my bowling trophies and won't give them back. Daylight saving time begins this weekend. Don't forget to turn your clocks ahead one hour. If only we could turn the clock back five years and avoid a Trump presidency. I mean, if there's one event that cries out for a time machine, this is it, right? And that's not just my opinion. Scientists say that too. Or maybe they don't, huh? I don't know who the hell remembers. Whew, these pills are really strong. And Buckingham Palace has issued a short statement responding to Harry and Meghan's allegations of racism. But some critics say the royal family has not condemned racism forcefully enough. It's the story the whole world is talking about. And yet President Trump has remained quiet on this. Why? Why won't he say anything? If he stays quiet, then 
then that's the end of all of this. Goodbye, all Trump news. The lights are going to go out because we can't pay the bills. And we're going to get laid off. And my five cats are going to starve. And it's all going to be Trump's fault. More headlines in 30 minutes. I'm Anderson Lemon. I feel better already. So relax, just three years and nine months left until the media gets back to work. Until then, kick back, take a nap, and try to forget who's running the country. That's exactly what the guy running it is doing. Period. Let's welcome tonight's guest. He once produced Cheers, and now he's here's. <laughs> wow. <Wait. laughs> Five more minutes on that one, maybe. A little bit, a little bit more effort. TV writer and producer Rob Long. He's got a pleasant face and a grisly crawl space. Host of the quiz show on Fox Nation, <laughs> Tom Shalhoub. She tries to inspire, but she can't change a tire. No. Host of Sincerely <laughs> Cat on Fox Nation, Cat Tim. And it's a good thing he's not afraid of heights. My massive sidekick and host of Nuff Said on Fox Nation, Tyrus. Yay, applause, applause Woo. from an audience that will soon return at some point. Oh. Yay, Rob. Yeah, sir, I will, wow. Yeah, I know, I like to yell. Yeah. Uh, it makes like me feel good inside. What do you think of Biden's address? Did you watch it? Um, I think that the chief benefit of President Biden is that I don't have to watch any of his speeches. <laughs> yes. I think that is why America chose him, and I think they did. Mm -hmm. They liked the idea that, like, they can go now months and not really <laughs> think about it. And, you know, we all say, like, you know, he's asleep all the time, takes naps, doesn't do anything. That is the feature of the President Joe Biden. Right. Like not you could the even bug. see the kind of the he's like the old guy and the and like you have the Christmas dinner and like he's like the old relative and he's sitting there and he's gonna he wants to tell you a story about like like what the day he met yes. you know uh, Louis Armstrong or something. <laughs> right. and like everybody's like I don't know how to get out of this room now. <laughs> Look it's uh it, it, for everything there's a season for every yin there's a yang there's mm -hmm. the th and this is we're very very deeply in our yang period. You'll be great. Or Obama yeah. Shore was on at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> right. It right. made me think that if you know Yang is running for mayor, yeah. if somebody named Yin rang against, ran, ran against right, him, right. it could be why am I talking? Tom, save me. <laughs> uh, what do you why do you suppose the media hasn't demanded Biden answer more questions? Do they kind of know why? What they know and they're in denial about his it's funny because when people say that he's cognitively slipping they everyone gets very offended how dare you say that that's an out I'm doing that to be nice right because if not you have to say that's regular Joe mm -hmm. you know what I mean no he's he's missed a step mm -hmm. but I thought that the feature of the speech was not boredom it was I, I was highly offended by the speech I was glad that you said that mm -hmm. in fact you're always taking my notes in your monologue <laughs> I have I wrote down in my notes I said it's called Independence Day for a reason oh, of course no. oh. yes Greg said it Whoa. In the yes. brilliant but the thing is it's so true Greg and thank you for saying that he does not have my permission to give me permission right. about who I can have a barbecue with. Yes. Okay? Yeah. So I think we should all get out there. Memorial Day is the target. Let's have some big parties yeah. on Memorial Day. That's what I found so shocking. Fourth of July? Yeah. I am ordering, just so you know, l l alert the CDC, I am ordering a very large Easter ham. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't care who knows it. Like, that's my date. Brave. It's true. Get me. Yeah, brave, yeah. It's true, Kat. I mean, we still have Memorial Day. I, people are planning on going out on Memorial Day. So, I mean, uh, but you don't celebrate 4th of July. Gonna, uh, 4th of July, I mean, I celebrate uh, every day as if it's 4th of July, <laughs> oh, actually. Beautiful. Yeah, look, I, I, and, and he was talking... He, he is good at at least appearing empathetic, right? I don't know the guy, but I also s saw some things in there where I was kind of upset. For example, when he's talking about how it's the duty of the government to protect people. Yes, that's true, but also to protect individual rights, mm -hmm. which seems to be the thing you're totally missing. And he's saying vaccination is available for everyone uh, May 1st, so then you can have a tiny 4th of July party. Yes. Like, and I'm supposed to be like, oh, thank you, Joe. Yes. Like, absolutely not. I'll be drinking on the street like every other other fourth of July. Yes. Like and every fifth other, of July. Like every other, every other July. <laughs> right, yes. right, 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 August, right, right, September, right, right, October. Right, right, right. Little cold in December. You gotta drink yeah. inside. Fifth of July. A fifth of July. Like you know, that. Tyrus, I can't believe we've gone around this this uh, group and we have not even brought up Stelter without his pants on. Well, why would we? <laughs> Just he posted that on purpose. I know. That wasn't a leaked shot. He was like, oh, people, they like this. He was uh, trying there to was get, a leak somewhere. He's trying to become a leg <laughs> model. A leg yeah, and far be it for me to push upon anyone my, their dreams. You know, if it's... <laughs>
It's up to him to find out it's not going to happen. <laughs> right. But I'd like to address the 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 uh, Anderson Lemon situation. Yes. Um, the bowling trophies are mine. <laughs> you got the cats. I'm keeping the trophies. <laughs> Lawyers have already settled this. Please move on. Uh, and the second thing, I, I and there are no jokes. It hurt my heart to watch that speech mm -hmm. because I know how awful it is to, when camera crew guys mess around with a teleprompter. Mm. That is painful. You see him squinting because the little smart ass was, must have been pulling it back too far, <laughs> and then he moved it close. And at one point, our president had to lean forward, <laughs> squinting, to say, 4th of July, mm -hmm. I need you. No, that was all improv. Yes. He, the script was too far away. They didn't use the big letters like they do for you. Yes. They do ones for me where it's like really small and they go I really have my fast. Folded. Yeah, okay. mine are small and go, boo, go, go, go. So it wasn't that he's losing his step, it's his teleprompter guy is terrible. <laughs> Move that thing up four or five feet and we'll right. see that, that boom, that bim, that zam. I'm just saying, mm -hmm. come on, man, look at it. Yeah. He's squinting for a reason. <laughs> you don't squint when you forget, right. you squint when you can't read anymore. That's true, that's true. I, I, I thought he was going to finish that by saying, I need you to help me into the tub. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I wouldn't do that. Well, uh, no. I'd like, get you, your own ass in the tub. Well, you know, if you could President do that. Also, States. by yeah. the way, showering with a dog is a way easier way to bathe them than it is to actually give them a bath. Uh, is this something you know? Cam breaks Carl in the shower. That's how we clean it. <laughs> so you're Sorry, trying Cam. You're trying to normalize the yes, weirdness. Yeah, exactly. Huh? Yeah.